Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chapter One, Section Five of the online video course Chinese Traditional Culture and Spiritual Healing. My name is Wang Yan, a professor of Guangdong University of Foreign Studies. Professor, you always mention Tao in your courses. What is Tao? Tao is the core concept of Taoist philosophy. However, how to understand it is the most controversial issue in Taoist studies. Taoism covers a variety of discussions about Tao. In my opinion, Tao is the root of all things in two aspects: the root of time. And the root of existence. First, let's come to the root of time, which means that Tao is the root of all things in the universe. That is, the Creator. According to Tao De Jing, there is something that existed before the universe. I don't know its name, and just call it Tao. Tao begets one, one begets two, two begets three, and three begets all the things. It's Tao that creates everything in the world. In short, Tao precedes the universe in time and is the origin of the universe. As for the root of existence, it. Indicates that Tao is the noumenon of existence of all things. What is noumenon? A commonly used method to define something is to outline its genus plus species difference. For example, an apple is defined as a kind of fruit within the Rosaceae, in which. The Rosaceae is the species difference, while the fruit is the genus. The definition of fruit is some kind of juicy, plant-based food, in which food is the genus of fruit. The definition of food is some kind of edible item which provides substance, in which the edible item which Provides sustenance is the genus of food. We can use the method to define the superior genus of a thing until the highest genus. The highest genus is the noumenon of all things. In Taoist, the noumenon of the existence is Tao. According to Tao De Jing. Man follows the laws of earth. Earth follows the laws of heaven. Heaven follows the laws of Tao. Tao follows the laws of its intrinsic nature. What does Tao follows the laws of its intrinsic nature mean? Many people interpret it as Tao follows the laws of nature, but actually, in the time when Lao Tzu lived. The concept of nature has not yet come into being. The meaning of nature here is intrinsic nature. Therefore, the sentence should be interpreted as Tao follows the laws of its intrinsic nature. As Tao is already the highest being and the highest genus, it does not follow other things. In short, Tao is the kind of essential stipulation that all things should have. Now we can summarize the meaning of Tao as the root of all things. Tao is not only the ultimate power that creates all things and the origin of the nature of all things, but also 
the essential stipulation that all things should have. That is the nature of all things. What does grasping the true meaning of Tao in Taoism mean? In my opinion, so-called grasping the true meaning of Tao refers to a person's discovery, listening to, and obedience to his or her intrinsic nature and integration of the ego and universe. If put in a simple way, it means to be yourself and surpass yourself. What is being yourself? Zhuang Zi told the story. There is an old tree believed to be a god, whose canopy was big enough to shield thousands of cows. Many people came to look at it, but a carpenter walked straight ahead without even looking at it. His apprentice was puzzled. I have never seen such a magnificent tree, but you didn't even give it a glance. Why? The carpenter replied, "This tree is of no use. If made into a ship, it will sink. If made into a door, it will be deformed. If made into a utensil, it will be worn out." It's useless, so it can live for so many years. After the carpenter returned home, the oak tree appeared in his dream. Those fruit trees are picked and hurt by people, suffering a lot all their entire lives because they can bear delicious fruits. They often can't live out. A natural life. My uselessness is my greatest use. Hearing this, the carpenter suddenly awakened to the truth. The carpenter dismissed the oak tree at first because he viewed the value of the tree from the perspective of a carpenter. This tree cannot be used. As timber, and therefore has no circular function. Viewed from Taoism, as greatest function is having preserved its integrity. To have a circular function means to be enslaved by the expectations of others, while to have no circular function means to exist. For oneself, with the story, Zhuang Zi wanted to enlighten people that to be yourself means to be liberated from the prison of utilitarianism and be expectations of others, and to exist freely as you are. This is exactly the realm of Xiao Yao Yao, namely. Living freely by one's natural instinct, advocated by Zhuang Zi. Psychologist Wang Friends commented on this story. Obviously, the carpenter understood his dream. He understood that fulfilling his own mission is the greatest achievement of mankind. If this story is interpreted. In terms of psychology, the oak tree symbolized the process of self-development. Self is a core concept in Carl Jung's analytical psychology. Generally speaking, it refers to the inner true self, which is similar to what I mean by intrinsic nature. Individualization means a person will ultimately become a unique individual of himself, and at the same time, be incorporated into a whole. That is, 
gathering the word in himself. As I said, John's individualization means the same as John's grasp of the true meaning of Tao. That is, be yourself and surpass yourself, as I mentioned earlier. What is surpassing yourself? Transpersonal psychology, also known as spiritual psychology, can help us understand it. Transpersonal psychology holds that, in addition to body and mind, human beings also consist of spirit. Psychology should focus on not only the mind, but also on spirit. People should understand themselves in the overall framework of body, mind, and spirit. Mind is just the ego, while spirit is the greater self connected to the universe. Transpersonal psychologists emphasized that the human mission lies in not only self-realization but also self-transcendence. Weber, a representative transpersonal psychology, divides human consciousness into four basic levels. The highest level of consciousness is the stage in which a man's innermost consciousness is identified with the ultimate reality of the universe, that is, the spirit level. This level has no boundaries. The individual realizes that he or she and the universe are essentially an organic whole. The self is not only an organism, but also the creation of the entire universe. Therefore, it is also called the consciousness of the universe and the highest identity of man. The highest level of consciousness described by Weber is the state of self-transcendence, which is highly consistent of John's all things are one with me, after man grasps the true meaning of Tao. Professor, it seems that self-transcendence is a very mysterious state of mind. How can we go into such a state? There are many ways to achieve the state. John put forward several techniques for being empty, like to fasting the mind and sit down and forget everything. Transpersonal psychology believes. It can be achieved through meditation, mindfulness, etc. I once went into that stage in a hypnosis class, which was an unprecedented happy experience. When we devote ourselves to something we love, we can also embrace this kind of experience in which we share the same frequency with the world. Namely, flow in psychological language. I will talk about being empty, mindfulness, and flow in chapter four, five, three of this course. Please stay tuned. We've now reached the end of chapter one, section five. Before we finish. I have some questions for you to think about. You can see them on screen now. Please pause the video to think about them and continue when ready. What is Tao? What does Tao follows the laws of its intrinsic nature mean? What is being yourself? What is surpassing yourself? Thank you very much for watching. Take care.